In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can record video lectures using Cam uh, Studio uh, video capture software, and also how we can compress the video lectures using Virtual Dub. So the first thing you need to do is open up Cam Studio. So I'm going to bring up Cam Studio, and then I'm going to click on Options. Uh, I'm going to click on Audio Options, Audio Options for Microphone. Uh, make sure that this has been set. Um, so these uh, default options look good. Then I'm going to click on video options. Notice that I'm using the Cam Studio lossless codec version 1.4. This is something that uh, is not installed by default in Cam Studio that you have to actually download it. So the way you do that is just go to Google, type in Cam Studio lossless codec. Uh, there's several links. Um, here's one link. Just click on it and it should automatically download it for you. So once you've downloaded it, it's zipped, you need to unzip it and then install it on your computer and then once you do that it should be one of the options. There's other options that you can uh, that you can use but I found that this is the best one. Also the frame rate is automatically set at 200 frames a second. Uh, this is relatively high so you can actually lower this if you want. So I'm going to take it down to say maybe a standard of uh, 25 frames a second. Undo the auto adjust. So it will capture frames every uh, 40 milliseconds. <coughs> or 25 rates, frames a second. So you can uh, lower this or uh, increase it, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, but we're, we're going to change this anyway when we recompress uh, the video. So click on OK. And then uh, you have other options. You can either uh, record a certain region, a fixed region, um, or usually I do full screen. Now be aware that if you're going to do full screen, it's usually best to change resolution. Uh, right now I have my resolution set at 1280 by 800, uh, but you can lower it to t uh, 1024 by 768 or 800 by 600. It really depends on what you're going, what you're doing. Um, if you're just doing a, f a standard, say, PowerPoint lecture, um, I would recommend using 800 by 600 because this uh, minimizes your file size. Uh, if you're using uh, maybe a lot of software, uh, you might want to um, increase it so your students can see uh, the full the full screen. It really just depends on your application. Uh, kind of a good middle ground is 1024 by 768. Uh, but like I said, um, if you really don't need the full screen, I would recommend using 800 by 600. I'm going to keep it at a, uh, 1280 by 800. Um, uh, for the time being because we are, um, I, I don't want to change it. So um, so let's assume that you have gone ahead and recorded the, um, uh, the video. So I'm going to close Cam Studio because this is the software that I'm currently using to record this lecture. Um, so let's open up Virtual Dub and a, um, I have a file here. It's called GM1. I'm going to open it up. And this file is currently um, 352 megabytes, and it's about 17 minutes long. So we're going to see if we can compress this, uh, this file. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Audio. I'm going to make sure I'm in full processing mode. I'm going to click on Compression. I'm going to click on MPEG Layer 3. And I found that for standard good quality voice, you can use 32 kilobits a second, 11,000 hertz, 4 kilobytes a second. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, you also have the option, uh, if you need to increase the volume a little bit, you can do this. Uh, so if, if your volume is a little low, you can use this to increase it 2, 3, 400, all the way up to 3,000 percent. So maybe, you know, usually an increase of 2, 300 percent is, is adequate. I don't need to increase the volume for this particular example. Then I'm going to click on video. I'm going to go make sure it's in full processing mode. I'm going to click on compression. And I'm going to click on the XFIT MPEG-4 codec. This is something else that you also have to have on your computer. So if you don't have it, just go to Google XFIT codec download. And you can just click on this link and download it uh, and install it on your computer. Uh, you have to have this codec to play and to compress uh, this video into the XFID format. But I already have this installed. So I click on Compression, uh, XFID for MPEG codec. I'm going to click on Configure. I'm going to click on Load Defaults, which has this uh, value set at 4. 
uh, which seems to be a pretty good trade-off between file size and uh, quality. I'm going to click on OK. So this is going to compress the uncompressed video, much like you take a TIFF file and compress it to a JPEG. Uh, it's going to compress this uncompressed video into a uh, an XVID format, which is part of the uh, an AVI extension. But to really get this file size down, I'm going to change the frame rate. And when you record with Cam Studio, a lot of times you get a desynchronization between the audio and video. So if you click on this option here, change so video and audio durations match, that will usually take care of this uh, desynchronization. And I'm going to convert it to two frames a second. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because from my experience I have found that when recording lectures or using software on your computer or even if you're recording your uh, uh, taking some notes and software such as OneNote or something like this. You don't need much more than two frames a second. Uh, if you were recording some high action video, then obviously you need to go to the standard 25 to 30 frames a second. But updating once every half second seems to be adequate for this purpose. So I'm going to click on uh, OK. And now I'm simply going to click on File and Save As. And I'm going to call it GM1 Compressed so I don't overwrite the current file and click on save and when I do this it will show me uh, I can sh shut this down uh, I'm going to click this show input and output video I'm going to get rid of that because it slows the processor down it's going to take about four minutes to compress uh, it projects that the file size will be somewhere around um, 10 to 12 megabytes this this will change dynamically depending on um, how often the uh, uh, what's in your particular video, it's showing now around nine, uh, 9 megabytes. So you can see that this file size has gone down drastically from 352 megabytes all the way down to say 8 to 10 megabytes. So it is a huge uh, um, decrease in your file size and it is done without any noticeable degradation in quality. So I hope you found this uh, video tutorial uh, useful.